When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? This is all that I have made. You've, you've got p part of a dress. Appreciate your trying to help, hon, but whenever you help, it just seems to cost us so much more. Bus. I'm confused, I'm confused. Mike called confused? me and asked me if we could get a bus for the wedding, and yeah. I said no. Now he showed up but with this bus, on, and hold it's hold a thousand dollars. Why do we need a bus? We need a bus because we got so many people in the wedding party. You're adding the people in, but you're not adding into the budget. But Mike, we don't need it. We need it. We don't need it. Seriously, you need to I give your head a shake. Weddings are a bride showing us her nerves. Weddings are a groom getting just what he deserves. Weddings are an event that uses all your financial reserves. Meet Nina and Mike, just married. The path to their big day had almost as many ups and downs as their bank account. So let's take a closer look at the events leading up to their wedding. My name is Nina. I am a 28-year-old office manager. I first met Mike, a constable, when I went to the police station to report my lost driver's license. This is the story of how one lost wallet led to a wedding filled with good times and a touch of craziness. Our wedding day was very energetic. Having all our family and friends there, the day had finally come, and everything just went up without a hitch. Their wedding may have been energetic, but the fights along the way were a force to be reckoned with. Let's turn back time and see if this couple's spending spirit made a ghost of their savings. My expectations of a wedding planner uh, were to kind of keep Mike and Rain. Uh, Mike likes to go out on his own and do his own things, and I really needed somebody to keep him in track. Angelique Sobchak has 13 years of experience planning weddings, but will she be able to keep this free-spending groom and penny-pinching bride on the same financial page? Angelique, you are the best. Yeah! My role as a wedding planner is to make sure that the bridges of communication stay open between the bride and groom and all participants. So tell mm -hmm. me your vision. I want to hear what you have planned for your wedding. Okay. Food. Fantastic food. That's all you ever think about is I know, food. but it's so important to have really good food for the wedding. Okay, I don't know, is that a vision though? Yeah, but no, what's the vision? Okay, overall? the vision, I'm thinking like 1920s, gangster, Hollywood glam, romance, black and white, like walking into like the big band music, oh, candles really? everywhere, yeah. I like that, I like yeah. that. Something different. And are you yeah. on that? Oh, yeah. You're all over I'm it. all over it. I think it's awesome. Do you have a venue for that already in mind? Yeah, we have a hall and a uh, caterer that we have planned already that well, we're going to go with. That's still up in the air. No, okay. we're, going in with, order? we're going with a certain caterer that yeah. we have to have. But not many halls in the city allow you to bring in your own caterer. Right. And in order for us to have him as a caterer, we need to go to the specific hall, and it's really going to be tight. It's, if we nice. End it's up a nice having hall. Yeah, that's fine, but we don't know if anyone's going to be able to sit in it. What are your numbers then? 300. Looking at, so. really, we're approaching 300 really quickly. Are you serious? They yeah. say that 300's tight in there, but I think it's fine. Explain to me why the catering is so important. They did used to work there. Okay. And I was a busboy way back when. But since then, they just have really good food. They do. They really we've, do. We've, we've gone to functions where they. What kind of food? What style of food? Everything. everything. Mostly Italian. Fusion, yeah. yeah just it's everything. Just, what do you want to do for decor? I'm thinking black tablecloths, um, black chair covers. Uh, I want to keep it simple. I want to do a lot of the stuff myself. It's really expensive. Well, they are, but this is why I the talk thing. to you when I ask. Nina is definitely more budget conscious than I am. I'm not good with my money. I like to spend my money. She's the savior in the relationship. Almost too much, though. How are you guys going to get there? Probably I'm a thinking bus. it's not very far, like from the church from my mom's house. We a can bus? Just get people to drive. A city bus? Okay, no, no, no. I don't know what he's talking about. No, I, I think it'd be a good idea because our wedding parties, it's big. We have 14 people with and us. They all know okay, how let to me. Drive. So you have a 14-person wedding party. Right. Okay. Now. Plus the kids. Oh gosh, and kids. How many right? kids? Five kids. So we're at 19. Plus so the two of you. A bus. I live so honestly like stuff? three blocks away yeah. from the church. So you could walk. A lot. No, 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 no. It's a wedding. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you kidding me right now? She can't walk. You can't Why walk. Why not? That's the day of your wedding. I mean, you're away. so cheap at times. It blows me away. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm walk. Not cheap. I'm frugal. I want to save the money for cheap. other you're stuff. Cheap. You don't walk you're to your cheap. own wedding. Unless it's in a field, you don't walk to your own wedding. She's cheap. 
I'm more of a person who lives on necessities. Um, if I need it, I'll buy it. I think that so many things are unnecessary, and I feel very, I'm very grateful for everything that I have. And anything more is a bonus to me. Um, but Mike, he'll take anything he can get. Are you wearing a traditional white gown, or are you wearing yeah. a? Okay. I have an idea of my dress. I, I want to. I'm getting it made. The only thing is that I have someone making it and I just don't think that her and I have the same idea. It seems like That's I a... say something and the next time I'll go and I'll be like, okay, no, you remember I wanted it this way? And she'll be like, no, you never said that. Did she and give it you seems a like we do it a lot. Um, I give them to her. Oh, so you did do it, but drawing? Yeah, and it seems like it just always changed. So I kind of took it away and now I'm dressless. And like, this is a dress that I've never tried on. So and it you, wasn't. But you didn't spend mon much money on the materials, so. No, but you, do. you don't understand. Making a dress can take six, anywhere from six to nine months, but you have to find someone who you trust and who knows what they're doing and knows how to work yes. with those kind of fabrics. Yes. But it's gonna cost you. It will. Yeah. So are you giving away favors? Are you gonna do something yes, fun like that? Yes, no. definitely giving away We're not giving out favors. We're doing we a donation. To. Okay, yeah, no, we have to do something. Right, you gotta do something. But See, we're doing a, a charitable donation. Okay. Because the wedding's approaching the, the winter season. And oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So, in like in a donation to the food bank. Yeah. And oh, that's what that's we're. That's well done. Yeah, and I agree. And I don't. And we're going to put it gonna... on like our tripod on the table that has our menu. And we'll yeah. just, just like explain on there that that's what we did as a. As so, a you'll favor. have a way to explain to your guests that this is what we gave to. Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that idea. I love yeah, that's it. a good idea. From yeah. what you've told me, you're doing a themed wedding. We're doing a gangster kind of 1920s glam. Yeah. Not too much gangster, more glam. Yeah. Blacks, whites, um, I get that. Overall, I see your wedding. I think the biggest mm -hmm. thing I need to know is the budget you guys are working with. Nina? Thank you, my dear. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Let's just hope everyone's gonna jump, jive, and wail at your wedding. Oh, <laughs> Coming up. This is all that I have made. You've you've got part of a dress. I can remember exactly where she was in the song. I can remember everything was happening at that very moment, and uh, and it's like, okay, it's game time. It's time to uh, it's, you know, say those words, and yeah, it's. Uh, Special moment, very special moment. I'll never forget it. When it comes to planning a wedding, you must be prepared to go the extra mile. How are you guys gonna get there? A lot. No, 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 no. It's a wedding. <laughs> You're wait, so wait. cheap at times, it blows me away. It's not, I'm, I'm not walk. cheap, I'm frugal. I wanna save the money for cheap. other stuff. You're cheap. Later, we'll let you know if this couple marched themselves straight to the poor house. I knew that I wanted a dress that was going to be completely different from any other dress that I had ever seen. I didn't want to get lost um, with the same dress that everyone else wears. So I decided to kind of design something on my own. And uh, I knew a dressmaker and I had one in mind and, you know, we just didn't click. Um, so I kind of had to just put the kibosh on it and uh, I was left without a dress like two months before the wedding. Hi. Hi. You know something? Oh, we're just kind of looking. I'm kind of in a jam. I'm. I don't know, I need, I need something, I need something pretty quick. I'm getting married in eight weeks, uh, I don't. Something quick, Yeah. But nice. Um, we've got full ones, narrow ones. Yeah, I'm looking for something more full. A fuller skirt? Yeah. Okay, well there's, and a small size of course, right? Yeah, um, like I said, I don't have a lot of time, so between getting it clean and probably getting some alterations. We, we, like we do all that, we do that here. So. Do you make dresses? Yeah, we do. We're dressmakers also, we do make dresses. That's why we can get all these ready for you. So. Maybe she can finish. Yeah, I get that, but she'd need time to make it. Well, yeah, I'm just is... asking you to say maybe ask her if she could do that instead of getting a used dress. I found a dress that I really liked, um, an Italian designer, really expensive, and I thought I'd get it like redone with my own special little quirks in it that I want to change. I mm -hmm. uh, went and got it made. Um, she did the top part, and she still wasn't working on it. So I just grabbed all the stuff from there. Um, I just wasn't confident anymore. I really can't afford too much more. That's why I'm kind of looking for an alternative. Maybe I could help Take you with, it. yeah, the other part to the dress. I have it in my car. Oh, you got it with Yeah, me. I just yeah. picked it up. Go ahead, go okay. grab it. Thank you. One half made dress coming right up. Okay, so this is all that I have made. You've, you've got 
P part of a dress? I really do like the work that's been done. I want yeah. uh, feathers woven underneath um, the appliques to be kind of put over top. Yeah. I know okay. it's a lot of work. What did you pay for that? Well, I've given her $400, and this is what I'm leaving with. <laughs> you have a $400 top, wow. I wonder if you can top that. So do you think you can do this, is the question. Yeah. Um, yes. I is this exactly what you're thinking, Nina? Or? Exactly. You know, I'd like the bottom to be maybe something um, just like medium, some poof to it. Yep. Um, I just really want to dress. Do you have a That's price good. maybe here you can help us with that? Well, it's gonna cost um, per I mean, I don't know, 300 bucks to finish wow. it off? Yeah. Are you serious? Okay? Well, I, I think mean, you're better I mean, you've got the way. top. This I is really good. Really, really, really yeah, good. That would for sure. help me you out. Guys? You have no idea. The price that I paid for my dress was amazing. I knew that I needed something different. It was perfect. That's it was it. beautiful it was, dress. it was beautiful. Okay. It was exactly what I wanted. I'm Portuguese, and traditionally we have a midnight seafood buffet, which I learned gets really costly. I couldn't believe how much it cost. That looks good. You gotta do the, there's the crab, what's that? How about this? What's I'm this? I'm a quality guy, Nina. Oh We're my gonna... goodness, look at it. <laughs> it's an octopus. Are you gonna cook this? We're gonna cook that. We're gonna be doing some octopus, some king crab, and we're also gonna be doing some jumbo shrimp. And the price, is that jumbo too? You're gonna have some of this? This is the end of the night. This is for the uh, Portuguese midnight snack at the end of the night. Gotta have it. The fish buffet. The fish combo and uh, king crab, Nina. How much of this are we gonna have out? Like, is it gonna be a big table? Yeah, probably 60, 70 pounds of king crab. There'll be uh, probably 30, 40 pounds of shrimp and um, probably about 20 pounds of octopus. For like 200 people, you think? 250, you have 300 Seriously. at the wedding. 225, can, 250. Can I ask how much we're looking at for all the seafood stuff? You're probably looking upwards of $5,000. Oh, How much? Five thousand. Five thousand. This king crab is very expensive, but it it's goes like to your meal. Twenty-six dollars a person. More or less, but you're having a very elegant meal that evening, and you know you don't want to uh, cheapen it up at the end. So I think the king crab is the way to go I here. I think maybe they'll be full after the elegant meal, and we should maybe go a little cheaper. Well, the only other suggestion, which I don't really like, is to go with the crab legs, and that would really uh, drive the price down. And no shrimp and no anything, or? Or just this? Just the crab legs only, and. And you know, the menu is amazing for dinner. It is, it is. And but... we have seafood in the beginning for the appetizers. I know, babe, but is this a cultural thing? Yes. It's a Portuguese tradition to have king crab. Now, are you getting away from that? At 52 or 5,000, 5, I'm getting away from it. I'm right. running far away from All it. All right, the other thing we can do is we can do the snow crab, and that'll drive down the cost considerably. If it's like a couple of bucks difference, then no, but what's, like, well, how much would that cost? I'd say between five and $600. <gasps> That's a big drop. Wow. Big, big drop. Big drop. It only adds $2. $2? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bottom line, you're gonna do just the crab. Is that what you're thinking? If money is the object here, we're not in your budget, let's just go with the um, snow crab. Okay. I think it's a better budget point. Exactly. Bottom line, it's Nina's choice. You decide, Nina. Yeah, that's that's really the only option that I have. That's really the only option we have. Because this isn't an option. Okay. Snow crab it is. Yeah, just don't tell Mike. Because Mike he'll be like, he wouldn't, exactly. <laughs> he wouldn't know Mike the difference. Mike wouldn't know the difference anyway. <laughs> no, so just don't tell him, because he just okay. likes price. So it's ever higher is better. So. All right. So this is what we're doing? It's what we're doing. All right, sounds good okay. to me. Done. Sounds good. When I met with the DJ and gave him his deposit and learned of the things that he could add, I was really excited about getting a snow machine and a yeah, fog but... machine and things that just would add to the winter spirit and Fair enough, but to the entertainment to of the event. You're supposed to discuss that with me. Had I not gone there to close out that contract, I would have never have known. How's it hey. going? Hey, this is Angelique. She's my wife. Angelique. I'm, I'm, I'm just nice to finally meet you. Yes. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Yeah. Thanks. How's it going, Nina? Good. good. I just wanted to settle up with you. I wanted to just make sure that we were good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Everything's to go. good to go. Uh, we'll just go over some of the small details here, make sure we're still on the same page. The That's wedding's right. coming fast, so we just want to make sure here. Um, we're going with the gold package with the DJ, the sound systems, the two lighting effects, and the mirror ball. Uh, now that is the $700 price that we agreed on. Um, and then on top of that, we have the snowflake lighting effects, the four moving heads, uh, which are going for $200 each, and that's $800. Uh, and then on top of that, we have the snow machine, which is uh, for $350. I don't remember. Yeah, maybe you have someone oh, else's. You're looking there. at me confused. Yeah, is that a different yeah. I had I had I spoke to Mike regarding that. 
Which talk to him? No. I, I no. talked to him on the phone a couple weeks ago. He had mentioned he wanted the four snowflake lights on the wall. You yeah. let him loose. See? I know. Yeah. No, yeah I know no. we had spoken oh. about it, but that was definitely not what, something. Well, what is it though? Like, just let's just hear what it is. Well, basically, you have the four snowflake moving heads, uh, basically that will place around the room, and they'll illuminate snowflakes onto the walls for you. And then we have the snow machine, which is for your first dance that Mike had mentioned. Hey, how much did he add in total, just out of curiosity? He added 1150. 1150. Oh, that's crazy. He's so ridiculous. Maybe he thought that I agreed. I want to give him the. Benefit I mean, maybe of the doubt. He, did he come in? Did he give money? Did he? No, no. He just—it was all over the phone. Told me I added to the contract for just you. Just to add it, eh? Okay, let me. Yeah, just uh, give me a couple seconds. And no problem. We'll be yeah. right. On a mission to set things straight, let's hope our bride can save herself a few hundred dollars. Hey, hon, it's me. I'm over at uh, I'm over at the DJ, and he told me that you had booked like another eleven hundred dollars worth of stuff. Okay. Yeah. So where did that happen? Like, I'm not quite sure where where we had discussed that or where we had figured out that we were going to spend another eleven hundred dollars on some effects. No, I forgot to tell you about it. Yeah, but I did add a couple things. I had that snow machine and, uh, you know, a couple of other effects just to make things look really cool. You can't just go behind my back and order stuff. I understand, but I figured, you know what, we definitely need to have that at the uh, wedding reception. It's a great effect that we have to have. I mean, there's no way around it. Appreciate you trying to help, hon, but whenever you help, it just seems to cost us so much more. You're nagging about it. Don't worry about it. It's not that I'm nagging, hon. You just can't go around booking things without me. This is the one time I'm gonna make the shot, and uh, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna I'm gonna close the deal, and uh, we're gonna have to decide on something else because it's not happening. But I'll talk to you a bit later. That's a really cool thing to have. I know it'd be cool, but you should have spoke with me about it. We'll talk about it later, but for now, uh, we're just gonna go with the original package we discussed. Nina puts her foot down. Okay, we're just gonna go with our original package that we had booked. It we're was just his gonna go mistake. with the original package? Yeah, it was his mistake. He thought that uh, I had agreed on it and I didn't. So. Uh -oh. so that leaves us then with the DJ, the sound system, uh, the two lighting effects, the mirror ball, uh, and the full seven hours of entertainment. So six until one for you. Wonderful, that's so. perfect. All right, that's so more the... than enough, that's beautiful. Perfect, so that will take off the 1150 and that will bring us down to the original price of 700 that we had agreed on and we're, uh, we're good to go. All right, yeah. so if I could just sign right there for me, that'd be awesome. I'm so glad that I went in there and closed out that because I would have been up for a really big surprise the day of the wedding. I thought it would have been cool to have a snow machine, but... You think everything's cool. Coming up... We, we don't do need, need it. TV. Not a chance. Why You're not? taking this way too far. When I saw her in her dress, I was just thinking, my goodness, you know, um, well, I'm a lucky guy. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> believe how beautiful she was coming down the aisle there in that dress. When it comes to the price of food at your wedding, sometimes the only way is up. Can I ask how much we're looking at for all the seafood stuff? You're probably looking upwards of $5,000. What? How much? $5,000. $5, we should maybe go a little cheaper. And later, we'll let you know if prices over their budget left this couple down on their luck. 20s theme going on, and the girls decided that they wanted to accessorize to the max. So you guys get the idea what I'm going for here? Uh, not exactly. <laughs> no, explain it again. Okay, it's like <laughs> for the 1920s. Like I just want everyone to go back in time. Like 1920s gangster Hollywood glam. I want like the long gloves, the cigarette holders, um, lots of feathers, like something like this, some gloves. Oh, cool. Ooh, the long gloves. <gasps> yeah. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. Cool. Maybe not for the ceremony, but for like pictures and like oh, yeah. the hall, yeah. you think? Like, so you guys like the idea or? Yeah. yeah? Oh, yeah, totally. great with our outfits. Oh, with I fish nets. We can have yeah. fish nets on too. <laughs> See, look at the girl. Black, black one? <laughs> black, yeah, you guys are gonna be in black. I think I'm gonna be in white. But after the wedding, you may find yourself in the red. I love those. Yeah? Oh, those that's are so much fun. Before you guys really get out of control here, can I just ask, where does this fall in the budget? Like, I don't have a line for all this stuff you guys are kind of throwing in the buggy. Like, I don't really have it in the budget, no. Okay. Um, I kind of thought you guys would take care of it since I got the dresses. I thought it was all included. Oh. Yeah. Well, I but got the dresses. Like, This hey. is all above and beyond the dress? I don't know, guys. You don't have that in the budget, sweetie. You can't. 
Wow. So how much is it a person? That's like I'm thinking like fifty bucks a person. At least. Six I mean, bridesmaids. That cost me another three hundred bucks. I mean, bucks. the boas are like twenty bucks. You've got gloves, which are another. They're like twenty bucks too. Twenty bucks. So there's forty bucks. And then those, and then those little the are fans 10. are like ten. And so you're looking at sixty to seventy bucks extra per person times how many girls? Six girls. That's money we did not account for. You know what? I think maybe we should call Mike. Yeah. And see you know what he says. I don't understand why you're calling Mike. I'm right here. Well, like, like, you know his... the way that Mike likes to spend. Exactly. Gonna... That's the point. Hey, Mike, it's Julie. We're getting like the accessories for our outfits, and Nina's telling us it's not included. I don't know, how much are we looking at spending over there? Like, we're looking at 360 to 400 bucks, like exactly. $60 a person. Yeah. Yeah, I think for the $60, why not? It's not it's just not 60. 60 bucks. He it's... can't count, though. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, just give us the okay, Mike. Give us the okay. $60 per girl. He said yes. Is that a yes, then? I think so, why not? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mike. Woo! You. We're gonna look yeah, good. <laughs> okay, go crazy, ladies. I don't know. What else can we hey, get? Mike's buying. <laughs> Mike's exactly. buying. Yeah. With the bridesmaids off the hook, it seems the next day our groom had another trick up his sleeve. We need to see some TVs, my friend. I got some TVs. Good, good, good. We need a TV because we're going to play a couple of slides of their pictures and whatnot, right? We're going to put a right. little slideshow together. Yep. And on top of the slideshow, once that's complete, I would like to have a second TV off in the corner. Sure. Where we can have the hockey game on. Okay. Are you kidding me? We're no, putting seriously. all this time and money into having a classy wedding, and you want to make it just a big party for you and your no, guys? No, it's not a party. Don't just for so, a little Mike. bit. No. You're not going to spend our money on renting a TV so that right? you and your buddies can get drunk and think you guys are at some bar. Just watch this the is updates, a classy though. wedding. We're spending a lot of money on. I know. Are Wouldn't you, you want to watch the hockey game if you're at a wedding? Honestly, just it would be better. Yeah, sure, to see the highlights. You're a guy, and no disrespect, but yeah. Mike. Not a chance. Why You're not? taking this way too far. We, we don't do need, need it. We do need a TV. Look how neat this thing is. Look how look nice this is. It would look great. It's beautiful. But Mike, we don't need it. We need it. We don't need it. Seriously, you need to I give your head a shake. It would be better if you could shake a money tree to pay for this. You do need something for your slideshow. I think that they have a projection what? there, though. It's part of the hall. But look how nice you it is. We'll put it in high definition. No, I know you, Mike. We can watch the slides. Not a chance. And then we can watch hockey. Not a chance. Eh? How about just one TV? Mike, you know what? One TV. You guys talk to your talk to each other. Just say get goodbye. One TV. Say goodbye to Ed. I'm leaving. See you. Okay, yeah, no problem. I thought it would have been really cool. I you know don't what? think there was another moment in this entire wedding planning stage that I was that angry with you. It I was been, em I was embarrassed. I didn't know. It would have been great. It would have been great to rent serious. a couple TVs and have a good time and you know watch the slideshows, let them repeat. Yeah, you totally had anyway, your priorities off. That was that. my idea. I thought it would have been great. Don't you, honey? <laughs> you know, I was really excited about having our own. Homemade pierogies at the wedding. Homemade, frozen, what's the difference? Everyone was gonna be eating my Portuguese crab anyway. You guys were really gonna spend two days doing this? Yes. You know, this, this is Polish, Polish tradition. tradition, exactly. This is Polish this is, tradition. I've been around for nine years. This is the first time I've seen anyone making any pierogies. That's because oh. you don't come around and visit enough. Oh, God, my yeah, maybe you is. don't. You know what, the, come on, the history and the heritage, you know that the best thing for us to do is make as many of these as we can now. Have them done before, you know, we won't wait till last minute. They'll be frozen, okay, and come the day of the wedding, we'll freeze it, we'll boil them. Yeah. Days. I honestly went, I picked these up. Oh, you picked up one. They're gonna take six and a half. No, no, no. Show us these frozen pierogies, no, no. Bumjit, from the store. Yeah, because none of us have anything else that we should be doing. Two. These are fresh potatoes. I bought the real Polish farmer's cheese, and come on. Seriously, four dollars. Thirty of them. Six and a half yeah. minutes. So what is it? Not two days. But compare the two, Nina. No. Okay, look, you're down. gonna go with the seafood buffet, the Portuguese, right? Portuguese style for midnight buffet? Yeah. Well, why don't you make fish sticks? Because we don't know what's inside a fish stick. Well, okay, we don't know what's inside of those. Oh, goodness. And it's oh, come on. It's a, bag. It's a bag. This is a frozen bag of burgers. I just think our time is worth a lot more than hey, Your sitting wedding is and worth everything this. to us, and we want it to be good. And good doesn't come from a freezer bag. Yeah. So what do you think in our total cost is going to be? Five, six hundred dollars. Yeah, I know you want to try you know? to save a few dollars, but this isn't the area that we're going to try to save money in, okay? If we buy the frozen ones, half the price. You only get married once. Come on. We have to do this right. You can't take shortcuts and buy store-bought pierogies. What do you mean, we? Right? I don't see you getting your hands dirty. Here, I'm trying to deal with you with your silly ideas. Come on. Yep. Okay, this well, don't think friend. you're uh, hightailing out of here. You're staying here for two days and doing this with us. Okay, stop talking and get to work. I don't you have know. anything Girl. in here. Why don't you guys get moving? We are moving. Ugh. 
You know, they were delicious. The, they were you good. know, those frozen ones wouldn't have compared. You're right. I give no, you I give have. you that. And you know what? They all Thank weren't you. eaten. Mike wanted to be a part of making all decisions, which included making a decision about the cake and whether or not we were going to have flavors. So However, true. every time I asked him to help me out, he was too busy, either playing hockey or doing this or doing that priorities. And so I had to track him down at his favorite place, the hockey ring. Like you gotta go. Honey, I just have a question for you. Just one question. Yeah, he's trying to play yeah. hockey. Be just one question. Just he's look trying at to play him. Hockey. Did you see what we're playing hockey right now? I know, but I've been asking you to do this for like I'll, I'll catch up with you in about an hour. I think this is one question that should be put on ice. Do you want the fruity one? Are you serious? You gotta you be kidding me, Zay Jack. No, I, I don't want I don't know. Come on, two seconds. Two seconds. Here. Okay, Here, eat the, eat the cake. Eat the cake. Eat the cake. You want the fruit or the ice Which one do you like better? Do you want me to try the other one? Oh, that is good. Why, but why are you coming here like we're playing hockey right now? I know, but I've been asking you to do this Okay, Zay Jack, let's go. I don't care. So you, which one just, do you want me to go whatever with? Whatever costs more money, get something better. If you don't want to take better. the time to do this, then no, we're just going to go right now. Out. We're playing right now. So I'm going with the vanilla. Get the one, get the flavored cake, spend the money. Come on, that's enough already. This is this is insane. Well, your friends like it. Your friends are wondering what you're doing here. Come on, Mike. I wish that I would have been able to come up with like names like Pookie or Schnookums while I was trying to call you over. Your friends loved me. They thought Insane. I was hilarious. Coming up. No, oh, let's go. Let's go pick up dead pieces of wood. Oh my God. Any luck? Shut up. No, I didn't think so. Do you remember what your boutonniere was? No idea. It was mauve and a little rosebud. It was very pretty. No baby's breath, though. That looks, makes me think that someone threw up on your lapel. <laughs> I don't like baby's breath. When it comes to making decisions with your future spouse, remember, it's best to be a team player. I would like to have a TV off in the corner. Sure. Where we can have the hockey game on. Are you kidding me? We're no, putting seriously. all this time and money into having a classy wedding, and you want to make it just a big party for you and your no, guys? No, it's not a party. I don't just think for so, Mike. Right? And later in the show, we'll find out if playing games with their budget left this couple in the financial penalty box. I'm an outdoorsman, but when it comes to being in the great outdoors, do we go hunting for trees? Yeah, you weren't showing it that day that you wanted anything to do with the outdoors. What are we looking for? Mike, I've already told you. We're looking for like tall trees and I want them to be slender. Something kind of like that. We're gonna line the church with them. Um, maybe 10 to 12 of them. I've already told you this. This is one thing you promised me. Yeah. But and that's, don't try to renege now. You know, what we could be doing realistically is buying something. I don't care. All the time, that's what you want to do. You told me that you were gonna come in here and find things with me. You're gonna we, find things with me, Mike. Right, but what I'm saying is we could have gone somewhere. We could even buy artificial trees or something. Fake trees are like 100 bucks a tree. We right. want like 10 of them, that's a thousand bucks. If we were to get someone to decorate them, that would be like 1,500 bucks. I'm sure At that least. if we, hold on, think about this for a second. If we hired somebody, I'm sure that if they're in the business, they're gonna have stuff like that. So it's not like we're buying that stuff, we're just buying their services. Mike, just quit trying to get out of this. You promised that we were gonna do this. Quit what being I'm, such a pain in the ass. Like, just help me out here. I'm just saying, what do you want to care? You want stuff like this? I want like this branch here. That's too big, and look at it, it's just a mess. How are we gonna, well, we how are we gonna haul down. that around, though? I thought you were a big Mr. Landscaping Man. No, he's Mr. Spend All Our Money Man. Come on, there's gotta be something, seriously. The more, well, look the sooner find we find them, the sooner we dead. can get out of here and then start decorating them. Oh, look at this one, look how beautiful it is. We could like, oh, maybe not, it looks, it's still got leaves on it. Yeah, that's a good grab. Well, Careful, you may be barking up the wrong tree. Are you afraid you just get a manicure or something? Well, no, but I mean, it's got leaves on it. It's not gonna be alive, hon, if the end is cut, right? Yeah. See, we can, we can cut the ends off and use that, all right? Does that make you happy? We'll get a couple of these and we'll be done. I want them all to be pretty similar. Well, the, it's nature, honey, nothing's Here, like, the same. and then we're gonna like glue it. Who do you have? Glue. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Seriously, because I don't think you see the vision, because if you saw the vision, you'd be putting a lot right. more effort into it. Go ahead, put your vision on this piece of wood. See? So we're gonna put glue on And then on we're gonna put glitter, sticks. and then it's gonna be shiny. Hang on, no, 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 we're gonna do the whole tree like that, and then it's gonna be shiny. So how much glue Hold are on. we gonna buy? Oh yeah, because it's like 25 cents a little jar. We're gonna use no that touch. and glue a tree. 
Come You're on. You're an idiot. We have time for that. Yeah. You know How what, Mike? You if you don't want to help me, then I can do it myself. Yep. No, let's go. Let's go pick up dead pieces of wood. God. Any luck? Shut up. No, I didn't think so. We were tree it hunting. It wasn't on Mike time, so you just didn't want to do it. Let's go get the trees. And we were tree what hunting. we did, and it looked good. Angelique and I were together. We were just getting some finishing touches put away, and from around the corner, I see this giant maroon bus yeah. pull up in front of my house. Nina! Oh, what's going Nina! on? What are you doing? Hey. Let's hope he's trying to save money by using public transportation. Come take a look at this thing. What the hell is Steve, it? Steve, this is Nina. Yeah, it looks great, Ange but Angelique, you know what? Quiet. No, no what is it? No, 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 I'm confused, I'm confused. Mike called confused? me and asked me if we could get a bus for the wedding, and yeah? I said no, and he told me it was $500, and I still said no. Now he showed up but with this hold bus, on, and hold it's $1,000. Why do we need a bus? We need a bus because we got so many people in the wedding party. Yeah. Mike, we do not need a bus. We all know how to drive. We can drive there ourselves. We have to have a bus for this. It's That's $1,000. It's nowhere near it's the budget. It's $1,000. That's, you don't have the budget. No. Mike, we already added this into the budget. When did we add it into the budget? Into the Wait, budget. No, you didn't. I did. You keep Absolutely adding perfect. people in, but you're not adding into the budget. But now that we've added more people, we need the bus. You know what? It's you guys have to more. remember. You've gone over on your catering. Yeah. Mike's you've gone, gone over, over on the, the cake flavors. Okay. You went over with numbers. You keep adding people. You guys don't have the budget. I don't think it's sure, a good Mike, idea. Sure, Mike. It's a great idea, but it's not so great for our pockets. What's a thousand dollars? I think somebody needs to give him some math lessons. Like, I've had enough. I'm out. Sorry. I got a lot of things to do then. Deal with your craziness. This is a cool bus. No, I'm you not need listening to, talk to, to you. Seriously, about you this. need if to you take it out of somewhere this? else. You need to out take it honestly. Area, I don't Where care. Do you want to take Stop it from? inviting people, maybe. Like Fine. My hopes and plans for transportation for the day was simply to have everybody together. And leading up to the church, we all show up separately, but leaving, I wanted everybody together and one big happy group. There's certain things you need to have to get married. One of them is a marriage license. If you wouldn't have waited to the last minute to go get it. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Hi, we're coming here to get a marriage license. Okay, do you have your ID with you? Yes, we do. My passport. Okay. And my driver's license. We just have a little bit of a problem. She has a driver's license. Mm -hmm. But she has a ripped birth certificate. Okay. And uh, we were denied in another municipality. Okay. So we're hoping we can get it here. Mm. That's, that's all we have. Like, we need it, though. This we're getting it? married in a couple days. You're we're getting, supposed to be yeah, getting a couple married days. in a couple days. A couple so. days. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to have you come into my office. Um, I'm going to have to review this with the clerk. So if you want to come with me. Okay. Do you guys want to have a seat? Thanks. Okay. Usually, it's about three days to a week to get a birth certificate on short notice like this. Three days to a week on yeah. a short notice? Yeah. It's Thursday today. Yeah, I'm sorry. The wedding's I... on Saturday. Mm -hmm. We're a couple days away. Is there any way of having it sent to us quicker or? Well, I'm gonna call right now. And right? so I'm gonna give her a call and then I'll be okay. back. So I'm not sure. So I'll have you guys wait. Well, if you can, if anything you can do, if we have to pay an extra fee for speeding it up, whatever. I, I just, we have, we have to have it done. Okay. All right, okay. I'll be back. Thanks. Hopefully there will still be a wedding by the time Saturday rolls around. How many times are we going to go through this? What do you mean this... how many times are we going to go through this? How many times are you going to plan on getting married? No, the whole ripped birth certificate thing. Okay, yeah, well, I've been a little busy planning a wedding. Yeah, regardless, I've told you over a year and a half ago, we have to have, you have to have yeah, everything updated. Yeah, and I've been a little busy. The reality of it is, what are we going to do? Like, bring that into your into your head for a second. The fact that without well, if we this, can't do it, we can't do it. What are we going like, to, What, are we going to have a big party on Saturday? Yeah, and that's it? I guess. Sounds like an expensive party to me. We're here yeah. trying to get a marriage license two days beforehand, and you don't have a birth certificate okay, that's no, valid. Okay, no, I totally get what you're saying. But you know so what, it's out of our hands now, so I'm gonna sit here and get angry and pout and start a fight with you for something okay. that's completely right, out of my right. hands. What am I gonna do? We'll wait to Once see again, when she comes back. you are right. And, and if I'll not, just... well, I don't know, we'll have to go talk to the church, we'll get to see something. We'll have to see, we'll have to figure it out. Incredible. Good news. Oh. We are gonna accept um, this. Notice of birth registration. Thank you. But we can't do it today. You guys are going to have to come back tomorrow. Okay. Okay. When tomorrow? Um, probably afternoon sometime. And it's going to be your responsibility to pick it up because I got things to do. And this is your delay. All right, then I'll so, pick it up. No, I just want you to know because tomorrow is going to be, Mike, can you get this? And you're going to give me a hard time about it. Okay. I know I you got to go get your nails done. It. I know. Kelly, okay. thank you so much. Thanks you're again, welcome. Kelly. Thanks. Thank really you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Coming up. This is hilarious. The bus 
It doesn't work. Nice. It's on its way here. Sweet. Yeah, it's doing 35 miles an hour. <laughs> My wife is the big spender. I'm the one that holds back. And it's going to be like that probably until the day we die. <laughs> When it comes to discussing the transportation for your wedding, you may find yourself driven to despair. I'm confused. I'm confused. Now he showed up but with this bus on, and it's a thousand dollars. Why do we need a bus? We need a bus because we got so many people in the wedding party. Yes. Mike, we do not need a bus. We all know how to drive. We can drive there ourselves. We have to have a bus for this. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple managed to drive prices down or blew their budget through the roof. Morning of, I had booked my hair appointment for 7 a.m. I thought that I was going to be a lot more stressed out and a lot more worried, but I wasn't. I'm just going to make some eggs and toast. We got lots of time. We might have time for a nap, guys. I hope I remember the morning of my wedding that I made breakfast. See, Ken, I'm not stressed out. You're not. You're doing well. No, I'm good. I'm very impressed. You're a cool bride. Got it under control. Yeah. Let's hope she keeps it together until the wedding. My morning I was a little bit hectic when I got to the best man's house to get ready with all the other groomsmen and to find out that the bus broke down and wasn't going to be showing up. I was a little frustrated and a little bit annoyed. OK, just do what you got to do to get that bus here as soon as possible. OK, because it's 10 to 11, dude. It's 10 to 11, and we got to leave here by 11.30. If that bus isn't running right, it's going to take us an hour to get back. Where are you, really, right now? OK. So get here quick. We'll get ready. The sooner we leave, the better. Bye. I can't leave this. I guess Mike's first-class transportation is going to be a first-class disappointment. This is hilarious. The bus doesn't work. Nice. It's, it's on its way here. Sweet. Yeah, it's doing 35 miles an hour. <laughs> So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, maybe we'll just uh, take a taxi. I don't know. What are you doing, Mikey? That's the first, then? Huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, should we get ready, or? Uh... The boss isn't going to be here, Mikey. Why do we got to get ready? Well, we got to hope that it gets here sooner than later, right? All right, let's get ready. All right. Let's do it up. But as the guys got ready, another call came through. Hello. It's 11 o'clock. It's like 10 after 11 right now. So that doesn't help me at all. But are you kidding? Where are you right now? Well, yeah. What are we gonna do from there? Wow. How are we gonna get there? What are you thinking? We're climbing into the minivan or? Uh... We're gonna take the minivan. We'll have to take your truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mikey. Right. I don't know, buddy. Well, get going. Get that thing working. Yeah, hurry up. Bye. I'm glad I didn't know what was going on the morning of on your end. I'm glad because you I would just sort of stressed me out and I was so relaxed and ready yeah. to take a nap and everything was just so easy. So I'm well, glad I, well, I'm I had glad, no part of I'm glad no things were nice and calm on your end. Yep. Did he say calm? Seems to me emotions were running wild. Don't think about it. Don't fan yourself. Okay. I'm just gonna leave. If you want to take a minute, go. Okay. After a few tears and a little coaxing, Nina was back on track. <laughs> you guys look awesome! Holy sh! they turned out really good. While the girls were looking fine, the boys were left in the rain with no bus. We're gonna take the rental van. Man, I'm so glad I rented that van. Yeah. We're all gonna fit in that unit? <laughs> we will somehow. It's not a limo bus, but it will have to do for now as time is ticking. All right, good to go. All set. What are you doing? The keys fell in the line. Can you believe that? We're running on your time again. Can we please leave? It is time. Dude, you're killing me, man. With the guys finally on their way, Angelique was putting the finishing touches on the hall. There's those brown curtains. I know the bride really wants those taken down. We have to. Yes. She forced me to say so. Okay. I know. She knows they'll be taped. She doesn't care. All right. All right. That'd be great. Thanks. What time are we at? Call time? Oh, not bad. Not bad. I've got an hour still. With an hour to go, Angelique was right on time in completing our couple's vision. The hall was coming to life with feathers in tree stands, 
white glitter, and red rose petals adding the final touches. Meanwhile, our bride was dressed, and more tears began to flow. Looks good? Yeah. Looks you like it? Don't cry. You can cry at the church, Maud. See? Put this veil on, we gotta go. Okay. Enough of this crying stuff. Okay. We need to make sure we get my feather gloves and stuff too. And my fan, we need my fan, guys. Okay. With the tag on it. Nina, are you ready? Yeah, I'm coming. Oh my oh. god, Nina, Nina. Nina. Oh, Nina. Nina. Oh, Nina. Look at that, that's Nina. unreal. Wow. With minutes to spare, the girls arrived and the ceremony was set to begin. Yeah. When I first saw Nina, I was like, okay, don't cry, Mikey, because she looks absolutely beautiful. Her dress was stunning. All the girls looked fantastic walking down the aisle, and it was just awesome. I need to take you, Michael, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in sickness and in health all the days of my life. Nina, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. I promise to be true to you. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Congratulations, you're married. Kiss the bride and the Coming up. Oh. Hey, what are you guys doing? When I first saw Lisa, I think my first response was, wow. Um, and I'm sure there were millions of thoughts rolling through my head, and some of them were probably, uh, Oh, this is finally happening. I can't get out of it now. It's <laughs> gonna happen and <laughs> sorry. <laughs> when it comes to the day of your wedding, it may seem like time stands still. But for us, it doesn't work. No. It's, it's on its way here. Sweet. Yeah, it's doing 35 miles an hour. <laughs> you know, maybe we'll just uh, take a taxi. I don't know. Soon we'll let you know if this couple drove themselves to the wedding or just drove their savings into the ground. Angelique was, was very strict about not letting us go into the hall unless we were there together and with her present. And so she told us to like close our eyes. We weren't allowed to see it. And then she uh, told us to open up our eyes. Close your eyes. Yeah, I'm trying to see, but I'm worried. Oh, me too. I'm scared. Come with me. Okay, take a look. Wow. Holy that looks awesome. Woo! Oh my god. This looks awesome. That looks Holy so cool, cow. Nina. Good work, guys. It, it looks, looks awesome. So good. Yeah. Angelique, you are the best. Angelique, this yeah. looks awesome. That looks really good. Once all the candles are going and we turn it down, it'll look even better. Light up the candles. Let's just okay, let's go, candles, let's go, let's go, let's go. Light the candles, turn off the lights, and let's have a beautiful and, and then let's put the music on, awesome. and we're good to go. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sweetie. Yeah. Oh, that's that's what I told you. Okay. Mike may have been impressed with the hall, but he had his sights set on a surprise tucked away in the men's room. Excuse me, but I'm going to go in there for a bit. Excuse me. Hey, 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 the game's on TV. No, we're good. We're good with the TV. We're just gonna be a few minutes. A few minutes. We're right out. Period's almost over. As you can see, it was a good idea because the guys liked the idea of having bread. You don't. You want to eat bread or you want to watch a game? I'll watch the game. See, guys want to watch a game. Oh! Two minutes left. Sorry, honey. Be right out. We'll dance and we'll make love. You can't do either of those when you're in the penalty box. But the reception continued, and the couple rocked, rolled, and had the time of their lives. A delicious meal was served, the decor was a hit, and our couple and their friends partied all night long. We have had an amazing day so far. The bus had a little problem, but other than that, the decor, decor in here is just incredible. The church ceremony went well. We have no complaints whatsoever. It was awesome. It was amazing. Couldn't have asked for anything more. You may have no complaints now, but what about when you see the bill? The original budget we set for Angelique was $45,000. Mike suggested different flavors for the cake, and I'm glad he convinced me to do so. For a total cost of $300, it was delicious. The girls look great. The extra accessories that they got really completed their outfits. The cost of it all was $375. I was more than pleased to make the donation of $650 to local charities as our guest favors. Nina's unique and fantastic idea for a dress was great. Total cost, $850. It was nice to have everyone together to drive from the church to the reception, but the limo cost $1,000, and that was still a bit pricey for me. The venue cost $1,500. 
We were really satisfied with the way everything turned out, and it was a great haul. Angelique was amazing. She really kept everyone um, straight the day of the wedding, and her fee was $2,000. The decorations really looked fantastic at the wedding. Nina's do-it-yourself projects made everything come to life. The total cost is $3,500. The one area that I didn't mind going a little overboard and spending a lot of money was for food and drink. Um, and that's exactly what we did. We spent $42,000, but people are still talking about the meal, and the drinks were flowing all night. The additional cost for the TV rental, the DJ, and the invites totaled $2,200. So what we actually spent on the wedding was $54,375, putting us over by $9,375. And where was the big deal? See? That's embarrassing. It was only, you know what? That's we spent the money. That's not a lot of difference. It was worth it. We had fun. We had fun, but that's embarrassing. It's good. I'm no happy. reason for it. I was happy. We could have done better. The couple has had their first dance. The groom has bitten off more than he can chew, and the midnight buffet has been devoured. The only question left is, is this groom trying to make up for past penalties? Here it comes. Oh! Oh, man. What are you doing? You got some on your boobs. And I just about tripped over the front of my dad's dress at the back of the church. That would be good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, please don't let me trip, please don't let me trip. We would definitely do it again. Absolutely. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we're coming up on 20 years in what, few years time, so we'll probably do it again. <laughs>